Hey guys, welcome back to RBR and today, wait a second, this is not the right G-Wagon. Let's do this. Shazam! Oh, that's better for both of us. So guys, today we are exploring the G800 by Barabbas, which is a car based on AMG's G63 of the new generation. And this particular car is brought to us by Sandown Barabbas, which is the UK Mercedes-Benz dealer-based Barabbas dealer, who also took us on our awesome factory tour. Today's episode of Remove Before Race is sponsored by Car Cologne. With manufacturers like Mercedes incorporating their own smells into their cars, Car Cologne is a luxury car air freshener with over 30 designer inspired scents. It's available in both car mist and a hanging form, and they last five times longer than usual air fresheners, with worldwide delivery available. Visit Car Cologne's website or Instagram now. And now, back to the episode. So for the uninitiated, a little bit of Brabus history before we dive into this car. Now, Brabus was founded in 1977 by Bodo Bushman, who is the founder. He recently, sadly, passed away. And he founded the company alongside his friend, because at the time you had to have two people to found a company in Germany. And his friend's name was Klaus Brackmann. Now you see where the name comes from, or do you? Bra from Brackmann, Bus from Bushman. Barabbas. And that is also where, why you have the double B in the logo today as well. So a little bit of Barabbas trivia for you. Now, as most companies, it started off from a need and for something that did not exist at the time. And Mr. Bushman wanted to customize and individualize and make his own cars more powerful and no one else did what he wanted to do. So he founded Barabbas. And today, the mission statement is still the same, to create the most powerful cars, maximizing the engine performance of a vehicle to its mechanical limits while creating an individualized and unique car that is immediately recognizable on the road. But unlike manufacturers, Barabbas are not comparing or benchmarking their cars to other manufacturers or tuners. They simply set out to make the most powerful and the most monstrous cars possible. But they do it, unlike other tuners, with a solid, and a firm warranty covering both the engine and the drivetrain, not a Mickey Mouse limited warranty or insurance policy as many tuners do. And that gives their customers and has given their customers confidence for over 40 years. Of course, they have the heritage of being probably the best known tuner in the world. And they've created some absolute monsters. Some that come to mind are like the CLS based Barabbas Rocket 800, which in 2012 was the fastest sedan on the planet and of course they're renowned for doing the G-Wagon 6x6 and even helping Mercedes-Benz build their flag flagship Maybach Pullman but of course their bread and butter has always been the G-Wagon specifically the AMG version it's what we as petrol heads always liken Barabbas to the most and the layman as well and today we are looking at their absolute flagship model based, as we said, on the new G63, and that is the G800. And we're gonna look at the entire tuning program that's available for the new G. Now, the first of those power upgrades available is called the G700. Now, this gives you the B4700 power upgrade, which is a plug-in solution by Barabbas, and it gives the G63 horsepower of 700 brake horsepower, as is said by the name, a 950 Newton meters of torque and a better zero to 60 by 0.2 seconds of 4.3 seconds. And alongside that, you can get visual upgrades, upgrades that are not tied to the wide star that is on the flagship version. So you can get a front fascia, you can still get the bonnet carbon, the carbon on the roof, you can get the exhaust system, you can get a rear diffuser and different alloys as well. And this is all without going for the wide star package but then you have the G800. For this, I really wanna show you how they take a standard G63, as standard as a G63 can be, and turn it into this wide star monster. So let's start with the standard car. Let's remove the bumpers first of all, and let's add in the wide star kit on the front and the rear. And immediately, you can see that extra width on the wide star. It is extremely aggressive, and this is just the bumpers that we have added so far. Alongside that, you add 
the large carbon element onto the bonnet. Now, the one thing that I love about this is that you can have it in either gloss or matte carbon. I love how aggressive it looks. I don't like the fake vents in the middle. They just look strange, but the overall look really complements the OEM bonnet and it does sit on the OEM bonnet as well. Unmissable, of course, is the double B of the Brabus grille and the lighted Brabus logo within the AMG specific grille. You can get the entire grille customized or painted the body color or do whatever you want. Again, individualization is absolutely unlimited. Then we add these y shape monoblock platinum edition wheels. These ones are finished in matte black. They look really stunning, 23 inches, really, really aggressive. Behind that, we have the calipers, which are painted of course then we add the rear spoiler and the rear design elements as well and of course the valve control exhaust system and then you are left with this this is what the g800 wide star looks like and it's an absolute monster of a car so that is the wide star let's actually talk about what it looks like there are a lot of angles it's very very angular you almost feel a kind of a Ventador thing going on here. And I really want to show you what I mean by showing you here, the carbon on the hood, the lines that you have all around the car, the little vents, yes, they're fake vents, but they give an extremely aggressive look to the car, especially the ones that come on the back of the wheel arches. So, so aggressive, something that you would expect on a really high level supercar. And that type of idea is translated all around the G800 wide star. All in all, very aggressive, but very up-to-date, modern-day Barabbas. Now, that is just a wide star element of the car, just the design. But to create the G800, you also need to give it the commensurate amount of power. Now, while that's also done by a plug-and-play unit called the B40S800, giving this 800 brake horsepower, it also requires the use of special Barabbas turbochargers, which get affixed into this car. Now I want to show you that being done here on an actual car. This is again here in the UK at Sandown Barabbas. These turbochargers have a larger compressor unit with modified core assemblies and reinforced axle bearings. And they allow the car to have that 800 brake horsepower, 1000 Newton meters of torque, and they improve the zero to 60 of the G63 to 4.1 seconds in this crazy two and a half ton wide monster. Now again, Barabbas is all about the individual. You don't need to have all of these units. This car is a completely modified version. It's the highest level that you can go to without doing the interior modifications, but you could have the exact same car and the exact same look with no power upgrade. You could have it with just the 700. You can have it with the 800, or you could have the 800 without any of these upgrades in terms of the design. You could have it as a completely stealth look, but it's up to you and that is what Barabbas at its core is all about. It's about the individualization for you, the customer, both outside and in. And you will see that, of course, in our factory tour video, which really focuses on that individualization. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you prefer this black, black, black version or the one that we saw at factory in that Aston Martin satin metallic with the red interior? I'd love to know what you guys think. I have a personal favorite and I'll let you know in the comments as well. Now guys, we're gonna look at the little interior differences that you can get if you don't wanna go all out that this car has. Then I wanna show you what the valve control exhaust by Barabbas sounds like, as well as the blow off valve option that you can get in this, just like we saw in the C63 base 600. And then we're gonna take this monster on our usual roads and see how it compares to the standard G63. Love the G-Wagon chunk of the doors. So now to show you a couple of bits that are Barabbas in this car. Now, this is very, very lightly modified in terms of interior compared to what you will have seen in the factory tour individualization, but you have just enough. If you don't want to customize the interior too much, there's enough in here to say that this is Barabbas. So first of all, in the driver's zone on the steering wheel itself, you've got aluminum shift paddles, which are bigger than the standard AMG ones. The feel is really nice. I like the click to it. I like the feel of the aluminum. It's milled from a single piece as well, and it looks and feels really nice. Then you've got on the actual steering wheel itself where you normally have AMG. There's a leather trimmed area with the Barabbas logo in it. Again, looks really good. But before that, when you open the door as well, you'll see the side sill. Now this is illuminated and it's done in the same lighting as whatever you've set the ambient lighting to, which is a really nice touch. Again, as you're getting in, you'll notice 
the door pins as well and your accelerator and brake pedal again. I also like the little touch of having the B logo on the key replacing the Afaltabach logo as well. It's the little things that really matter to customers. And one other thing which I think is a really nice touch, they've removed the proved at shockle badge of the standard G63 and replaced it with genuine Barabbas on there. But now what you really want to listen to is the sound of the valve control Barabbas exhaust system. And in between that, let's see if we can hear the second separate option, which is the blow off valve. That's going to sound like steam coming off like a, exactly what it sounds like, a blow off valve. So we're going to start in comfort, do some revs in comfort as well, then start in sport plus and do the revs in sport plus to see what the monster really sounds like. So let's start in comfort first. So that's a fairly standard G63 starter, perhaps a bit more bassy. We're gonna give it some revs. Now we'll do it with exhaust on. Nice thunderous startup. And now let's give it a start in Sport Plus instead. That's more like it. Now let's give it some revs. sounds absolutely brutal. I don't think that we can quite hear the blow off valve as clearly as we could in the C63 video, but you will hear it now when we go on the run and we see what this beast can do on our usual roads that we tested the new G63 on. So we've got 800 horsepower Brabus G-Wagon. The most terrifying thing we could do to start it off would be a launch. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. when we drove the brand new G63 how when you take off you get all this kind of torque steer where, where the car either wants to go left or wants to go to the right because there's so much torque um, this we're talking another 300 horsepower it's like adding an A35 into a standard G63 and it magnifies that effect of the car pulling left or right it is literally like you're riding a wild bronco and you have to pull the car in from left or right do it again now. It just wants to turn into a tree or a wall. Now it's not the type of car that you take around bendy turns. All I can see is the traction control lights going off. I think the width helps with the turn in a little bit as well, which is nice, but really it is standard G63. You just have to be very careful with how you're putting down the power, because when you're making turns in this, you can make it go very, very wrong indeed. basically change versus the standard G63. If you want to see our review on the standard new G63, as I always say, it's my personal favorite video that I've done on a room before race, A, because of the cool Star Wars intro, but just all the history that you see of the G-Wagon. And I'll leave a link for that in the description and you'll see a card pop up here. For this review, we need to concentrate on how Barabbas, as we said, does not benchmark against rivals. What it does is try to make a very cool car. And that's exactly what they've done with the G800. It's all about making the G-Wagon even more desirable, three times as much as a standard one is. And it does that through three different methods. One is, of course, the addition of more power. So we've got 800 brake horsepower in the G800. So we're gonna explore the power. How does that affect this new G63? The second thing is of course sound, because along with the power, we've got Barabbas' valve controlled exhaust system. And the other thing that's been added is the blow off valve that you can hear. And the final thing, which is again key with a Barabbas car, is the body styling, the wide star kit of the G800. That is so iconic. Now of course the first thing is power. 
Now, when you're comparing it to the standard G, as I said, it magnifies everything. It magnifies the fact that you can bring the car in. You see the car lift as the standard G63 does as well, which is so cool to look at from the outside. If you're setting off from close to standstill, you will see the traction control light blink on and off. You will have to rein the car in. And that's, of course, we've got that much more power in this car. Brabus are not trying to benchmark some kind of track time on the Nürburgring. They're just making something that can push this new G63 to its absolute mechanical limit while keeping it within tolerance. And that's their skill. That's what they test. And at the end of the day, it's all about fun. Accelerating like that from 70 miles an hour, the car feels like it has limitless power supply. And that's exactly what you want when you think G800 Brabus. But we are on a very dry day today. I did try the car in the wet. It is terrifying if you try to put the power down. You have to be very careful. And yes, I do trust Brabus more than any other tuner because of their heritage, because of the warranty aspect, etc. But the fact is, you've got a two and a half ton G-Wagon with 800 brake horsepower. You're simply gonna have to be careful because what else has been done mechanically? Nothing. But the question is, do you feel the extra power versus new G63 versus something less powerful like the urban G-Wagon? 100% you do. You feel that in brake horsepower um, because you feel that the car's trying to kill you. It wants to go into a tree or a wall. It's, it's natural kind of inkling to do so, which is terrifying, but that's half the fun of these cars. Then we have to talk about sound. So you can hear already the sound of the standard G63 magnified with Brabus' valve-controlled exhaust system. Of course, you can make it play using the paddles, get some really loud pops and bangs on the outside of the car. And with an AMG and a Brabus, sound is always so important. It's a main factor for a buyer of one of these cars. It's even fun just coming to a stop in this car. I like that little things like that, stopping at a light and then shooting off again. So we're talking standard G63 sound magnified with that familiar kind of Brabus bassy tune to it. But then we've also got a second option, as we said, which is the blow-off valve, which you can hear it's almost like steam blowing off a steam engine. Or like when you hear a bus come to a stop, and I must admit, I've been alongside a few buses and I've wondered, has that been the bus making that sound or this car? But weirdly, where I think I find it a little bit weird in say like a C63 by Barabbas, on the G-Wagon, it just makes so much sense to have that blow off valve sound. It's like you've got a bull who's just snarling and just blowing out air in anger. It really works for the G in my opinion. Third and final point is the looks. I'm not going to go over all the stuff we looked at in the walkthrough. It's more about how you can appreciate the car when it's on the run. And that's why I love filming where we film at RBR HQ because you get to see what the car really looks like on the road. You get to see the presence of the wide star in this particular car and really appreciate how important that aspect is to the Barabbas customer. The reception that you receive just from plodding along in this car, even slowly, is incredible when you see just people looking at it because most people know what a Barabbas is and that is the difference between them and tuning companies. They have so much heritage that we've discussed. It just sets them apart. People know that this is something very special, something very rare and something very individual. So you get extra fun from the looks, you get that much more enjoyment from the exhaust, and the power is insane. But the thing with Brabus is, you get not only their heritage, but the warranty, and it's so important on a car like this, because they have extensively tested the car, and that is then the confidence that the customer has, because we know that this car has been tested heavily. Confidence, and spine tingling fun. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this full review for Amos G800. If you enjoyed it, if you had fun, please like and subscribe. 
share this video, hit the bell icon, really helps support us. And I'm going to shoot off into the distance, hopefully not going to a tree, and have a bit more fun. See you next time.